Welcome to Godly Play today. It's really good to see everyone. Come on and join the circle. We've got a few people on Zoom today and we're hoping that we have a few more people as, as you come and join us on YouTube for the Godly Play story. So we're, first thing we do is we look at the calendar of the church and you remember that we've just been through the season of Advent and there was the mystery of Christmas which is celebrated as a white Sunday in our church. And then the next week, last week, was the Feast of Epiphany, where we remember the wise ones. And so that's celebrated as a white Sunday in our church. And this week is the celebration of Holy Baptism, which is also a white Sunday. So I'm going to have to move another white one. So we have three white Sundays in a row, including Christmas. So we're moving the hands of the calendar onto this third white one, two after the mystery of Christmas. So that's where we are in the church calendar, and we're moving towards the green and growing Sundays before the season of Lent that comes before Easter. So... It's pretty exciting this new year. So we're going to start off with our Christ candle. There was once someone who said such wonderful things and did such amazing things that people began to follow. And as they followed, they wondered who he was. And they couldn't help themselves. They had to ask. And one of the times when they asked him who he was, he said, I am the light. I see the love of God in you, the light of Christ comes shining through, and I am blessed to be with you. O holy child of God. And of course, this light didn't stay in that one place in that one time so long ago. He changed the light so it could be in all places and in all times. Watch as I change the light. It's going, it's thinning out, it's changing, it's filling up our space, where I am, where you are. So wherever we go together today in Godly Play, this light will be with us. And when we leave, this light will go with us. So today's story is a big one. This story is kept in godly play on the focal shelves behind the storyteller and it's kept under the Christ candle because it's one of the sacraments of the church. It's the story of holy baptism and that's our story for today. So take a minute, get ready, and here's the story. In the church, we baptize people in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Creator, Redeemer, Sustainer. Creator, Redeemer, Sustainer. This is the water of creation.
the water of the flood, the water the people went through into freedom, the water of baptism, the water that you were or will be baptized in. There was once someone who said such wonderful things and did such amazing things that people began to follow him. And as they followed him, they wondered who he was. And one of the times Jesus said to them, I am the light. The Holy Spirit rides the invisible wind like a dove and comes to us when we need its power and comfort. Though it is invisible, it is present, just like this anointing oil that has a, a wonderful scent even though we can't see it, we know that it's there. In the church, we baptize people when they're babies, when they're children, when they're teenagers, when they're grown up, or even when they're very old. And today, we're going to tell about how we do it using a baby doll. Hmm. When we bring someone to be baptized, first we ask them questions. And if they're babies, we ask the questions to their parents or their godparents. And then we offer a prayer and then we baptize them. Oh, wait, there's something that we're missing. The baby's names. Names are very important in baptism. I wonder what this baby's name could be. Hmm, Amanda? Oh, that's a good name. All right, Amanda. Amanda, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And I sign you with the cross to mark you as Christ's own forever. All men, all men, you have taken Christ this day. In Christ you have been baptized. Alleluia, alleluia, amen. That's the song we sing in our church. Your church might have a different song they sing when someone's baptized. And in our church, our prayer shawl ministry presents the baby or the person who is being baptized with a prayer shawl. And it's something that they can keep close to them to help them remember about this very special day. And this is one of the little prayer shawls, pocket prayer shawls from our prayer shawl ministry. And then it's time for the person to receive their light.
can we say? Name this child, Amanda. We take the candle and we light it from the Christ candle or the Paschal candle and we say, Amanda, here is your light. Remember the day you were or will be baptized. Name this child, Ruth. Ruth, here is your light. Remember the day you were baptized. Name this child. Ah, oh, I see Naomi. Naomi, here is your light. Remember the day of your baptism. Oh, in the circle, I see another person. Name this child. Ben. Ben, here is your light. Remember the day of your baptism. And there's other people joining us in the circle. Another blessed child of God. Name this child. Yes, your name. You blessed child of God. Here is your light. Remember the day you were or will be baptized. Huh. Look at all this light. So much light coming from one light. And look, this light is not any smaller. It is the same light that has always been. And all this light came from it. And time to change the lights. So I'm going to change Amanda's light. And Ruth's light. And Naomi's light. And Ben's light. And you, blessed child of God, your light. And finally, the light of Christ, which we change because the light of Christ is changed so it can be in all places and in all times. This room is full of so much changed light. Can you feel it? So much joy. Well, thank you for joining us today to learn more about the work of the people, the liturgy, the liturgy and the sacrament of baptism, holy baptism. And now for a blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Go now in peace, go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. 
Thanks for joining us today. Hope you have a great week. Bye for now.